again, uh, those who join late, I'm uh, Manish Bahadia, president at Think AI, and uh, Think AI is focused in data and AI. So today's agenda, right away, get into it. So let's look into where we are right now with uh, AI kind of situation. Chat GPT is very hot topic, generative AI. We'll talk about that. Uh, we'll talk about how you can start to think about using in the business. And we have some examples there. Of course, uh, technology is uh, new and very capable. So there are a lot of challenges and risk as well. So we're gonna talk about that. Uh, we're gonna do some hands-on demo. So at least you can see how it is looking if you want to try a couple of things and then stay around because we have a little survey at the end and then there is a $100 uh, raffle. So I want to see you win. Okay. So AI in daily use, uh, you know, you may not realize, but you are already using AI. Uh, examples are, if you're using a smartphone, of course you are. So Siri, Alexa, or uh, Google voice activated uh, assistant. Those are all AI example. Uh, navigation system in the car is uh, an example of that. Uh, websites, e-commerce website like Amazon giving you suggestions or any other websites giving you suggestions is an example of AI you using bot to request a refund or ask a question about your product tracking is AI. Um, autonomous vehicle, which is coming up, but if you have been flying, of course you have been flying, those uh, uh, initial few minutes pilots are handling the plane, take off, landing, but then it goes in autopilot. And uh, similarly, at home, your ring camera or any kind of monitoring camera is detecting moving objects, strangers, uh, humans. That's an example of AI. I wanted to, I was talking more about the gotten hype cycle that what it's trying to depict is what are the, what are the technology coming in, where are they are on the hype and where they are actuality because in the, in terms of circle color, it's, sh uh, it's showing that computer vision is right here. It's very mature technology and very adopted. Example is the camera detecting moving objects and people, right? So that's a, an example. Cloud services, again, it's uh, pretty much uh, here uh, within two to five years, it's gonna plateau. So pretty much adopted. And uh, generative AI is right here. Uh, it's uh, on the top of Hive. And uh, it is just started, so it will get, in, uh, get adoption very soon, within two to five years. And this is as of 2022. So this is uh, actually a little old and AI is changing so fast that uh, this has to change also. So let's talk about why we are talking about AI now, right? Uh, I mean, actually speaking in 50s, uh, 60s also, there was AI system, but then why it is so much in, in the news or in uh, applications now? So first is uh, computing power has been increasing. Every year you see the CPUs, phones, uh, servers getting powerful. So that computing power is increasing exponentially. And uh, cloud availability like uh, Google, Microsoft, Amazon cloud availability is there. Uh, big data is available. A lot of public domain data is available to, to be utilized. And then um, algorithms are able to use that public data and private data for uh, making patterns. And that's where AI become powerful. So that is the reason here. Are there benefits of AI? So survey by Denton says, uh, automating process, 75% say extremely beneficial. 19% say somewhat. Similarly, as you can see, decision-making, reducing human error in processing, operating cost reduction, better client service, and creating new products. Extremely beneficial is uh, outranking somewhat beneficial. So it is very helpful for AI systems to be applying in various scenario. 
I'm going to share a quick video here. So for that, I need to share the sound. And uh, let me go to the video here. We, we're not going to play the whole video, but we do, want to, intelligence. we do want to see like around a couple of seconds here. So see my screen again? Not yet, Manish. Um, it is giving me some issue. Okay, hold on. Just a second. So please restart your audio sharing application after it's giving me some issue here. Am I admin here? Can you check that? Yes. And if needed, uh, Guryesh can also share. I'm just saying. No, we can see your screen now. Yeah, we can see it. Yeah, uh, I think the issue is just the audio. Uh, screen sharing is fine. So just a second, okay. We'll give us a quick try, otherwise uh, it's not a big deal here. Happens. Artificial intelligence isn't you see the uh, hear the video? Yes, we can. Yes. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, good. Artificial intelligence isn't coming. It's here. It's the defining technology of our time. But it's human ingenuity that makes it so powerful. Jane started losing her vision when she was 12. California Street. She uses seeing AI. I crept down the, stairs, crept and down the, the stairs and out the door. Which enables her to read and navigate her world. Microsoft AI is helping farmers adapt to climate change. We can use technology to help feed the world without wrecking the planet. Enabling wildlife conservation. The ability to use AI really democratizes science. Wild Me uses images from any source to help study endangered species. And creating new ways for people with hearing loss to communicate. I want the exact same information that my hearing friends have. It's more than just imitating intelligence or sounding like a human. Microsoft AI. Yep. So example is right there. Uh, people who are impaired can directly start hearing vision or uh, AI can start helping them, right? And uh, so that was just a quick video to see the help uh, available with AI for uh, various uh, demographic. Uh, let's talk a little bit on what is a generative AI, right? So it's a form of AI which is gonna able to create new and original content like image, audio, video, actually code as well as text responses, which is what ChatGPT does, right? So ChatGPT is a form of generative AI, and uh, it's based on a large language model developed by OpenAI. Little bit on the ChatGPT history here is uh, started in 2015 by Sam Altman and Elon Musk, and uh, they have been releasing large language model, which knows a lot of data uh, version like GPT-3, uh, uh, one, two, three, and December of 2022, 3.5 was re released with 220 billion parameters from public domain. So it knows a lot of text. Now it is actually capable of human-like conversation. In fact, able to clear many exams, right? Like SAT, bar exam. I think 4.0 is able to create the uh, bar association exam. So not 3.5, but it's just very capable. 
So I'm assuming most of you have played with the with the chat GPT and, and we'll do a little bit of uh, demo here as well. But as you can see, right, you can ask it to create uh, birthday ideas for 10 year old birthday. Uh, you can interact where it can keep up the conversation. So you tell some command and it's gonna follow that. So it's able to remember and converse in certain manner, but it has limitation. It can, it is generating, generating information. So that means it may be incorrect. You still own the responsibility of it, okay? So don't just copy paste because it's your content now. So you have to be careful on this. And also the data has been actually published only till 2021. So it will not be able to tell you the recent information. Okay, so let's take a little bit uh, more examples in business. And I wanted to cover a little bit on more business because in general, you, you get a lot of information on YouTube and uh, TikTok or Instagram, right? But here we are talking how the industries will use. In education, personalized le learning will be possible and uh, professors, AI-based professor can be there in healthcare. As we talked about, vision AI is very capable. Medical imaging is the, the first application comes to my mind, telemedicine post-procedure patient care, you know, you just had an appointment or procedure, you're home, you need a lot of, you need a lot of question answered, but then hospital or doctor is not with you. So that's where it can provide patient care, remote patient care. In the manufacturing, you can see productive maintenance and so on, right? Like in marketing, customer uh, chatbots are there, then in finance, trading will be possible, price optimization, in retail. With that, let's go into an example of what ThinkAI has helped a client, and then we'll we'll go into some live example also. So let's take an example. If we talk about so much in AI, how it can really help. So one of our client wanted to design this AI to detect a stroke or even migraine. So what they did was they said. We're gonna capture the inaudible frequency. Once you wear the headset, the acoustic signal will be captured, which is not, um, we cannot hear as human, but uh, audio device can capture it. This then can get transferred to a machine like tablet or some other format. And the machine learning is gonna pick up the anomalies and tell exactly if, uh, if there is a certain migraine happening. And then data goes into the cloud and we can start analyzing much better uh, result based on the pattern for the person as well as the historical information. So this is the live example where AI is helping a product getting designed, but it will impact human um, health as well. Okay, so let's look into some live example on AI and uh, we'll start with uh, images. So let me stop, uh, let me jump into the one of the screen here. So this is the chat GPT. Where's my, where is my Google Chrome? Yeah, it's here, okay. So we look at the video, we are done with the video. And uh, Okay, so I wanted to come to the mid journey. If you have not seen, you see my screen, right? Yeah, we are sharing this. Okay. okay, so you can see this example. Yeah. Mid journey, if you go, go to showcase, these all example actually has been created by AI. Of course, you have to prompt and prompt could be like this, right? So an image of dinosaur riding a bicycle in the style of Honey core, funny art, gigantic scale, and, and more details. Similarly, uh, let's look at this person. A person shape emerging from 3D paint, multicolor, thick, glossy, flowing from the top. So your creativity decides how you can generate an output. 
and of course i'm uh, i'm uh, not that expert in it but let's take an example okay so i'll go to bing uh, because bing also has a tool called uh, bing create let me come come back to the screen here you can go to mid journey also i'll have to log in but i just thought i'll show you the bing create very quickly here so bing create you can go and you can say mm, cartoonish depiction of beach with chairs in 3d multicolor i just learned it right <laughs> okay let's see what it what it it can create <clears throat> yeah not bad now of it uh, if i remove I just change it a little bit. So it will have a different uh, generation here, right? So that, those are the couple of example you can use. And then let's go to the chat GPT once this is done. Yeah, so good, not bad. I would have taken a long time to create these images, but AI is able to create what in 40 seconds, right? So that is it. Okay, so now we're gonna go into some example of uh, how ChatGPT can do. So very simple one, which you have tried, but I'm gonna try, right? So trip uh, two day, trip two, what should I do? Very, very aggressive plan here, but let's see what it says, right? So instead of 10, 15, 20 minutes on Google searching, you just to get the details right here. Yep. So that is uh, that is the way. Now I'm going to stop. I know you most of you have done like that. So I'm going to start a new chat. And uh, just like TurboTax was able to do some uh, free tax uh, estimation for us similarly if i tell if i tell the chat gpt you can act as a chat uh, tax advisor and you're gonna help me prepare tax return and estimate but also ask me question one at a time right let's try that Country, okay. Yeah, something like that. You can you can keep going and. Uh, it will actually give you the details. And of course, if you had done turtle tracks of self test, uh, self tax estimation, it takes time, right? So income, let's say I made just very less, but uh, that's fine. So uh, standard. So like that, you can keep going on and it should give you an estimation. Now, of course, you're not gonna fully uh, rely on it, but if you have to pay estimated taxes or you have some plan coming up, you can you can use that. Similarly, let's go and look into another example. So now that GPT is uh, coming up, AI is becoming available. There are tools coming up, right? Like so, Flyfin you can download on the mobile, pretty much like uh, any tax uh, preparation software but this is totally AI best. Pretty much similar to what ChatGPT was doing. You can do that. And now they, they are more 
more focused on uh, tax. So they are giving you guarantees also. So you are not on your own. You can really follow the uh, AI used in the FlyFin. If you want to create a video, Synthesia is another website. You know, this is an AI person. You, you create a free account or a paid account. You type your text and you can paste onto this and you can create actually the, the video of person talking on it. So here you can see it says, you know, hey, I'm Alex, here's a quick Synthesia product demo. So this is all possible in the, in the AI, video AI. Okay, so now let's come to an example in the business. So we have, uh, we have some MSPs as a business a managed service provider, they do ticketing system. So they are using chatbot to let your, their customer see the tickets as well as their employee see the ticket. Also bot can be connected to the uh, CRM. So you can actually see your uh, task, your contact information, leads, opportunities and everything. And I'll, I'll show you a quick example on that. Okay, so let me go back to my screen. So we are done with ChatGPT. What is this one? This is the Bing, we are done with the Bing. Mid journey also we are done. And then I'm gonna go into the chatbot. Okay, so this is our uh, chatbot here, uh, which is uh, called Thinky. What happens on that is uh, it is able to do basic conversation. Of course, not as smart as uh, ChatGPT, but hey there, it should be able to converse basic, like uh, tell me a joke, like that, another one. So these are very basic, but then, uh, we can go into a little bit uh, technical question. What is Power Apps? It's a Microsoft technology. So it's able to bring that and, you know, I it's cite some example. It gives me the link to go. So that's all fine. Similarly, I can ask it uh, what is SharePoint. So it's giving me video. We can go there. How to... Uh, you can, does it have some details about running meetings? So you can put the process, uh, right kind of process and information in the, in the tool. And as I said, you can actually let your client or internal team access their tickets, right? So you can, this is actually integrated with the Dynamics 365. So that's why it's able to pull the information, but of course it's an enterprise system. So it's asking me to log in. Just gonna quickly log in here. And uh, hold on. Just a minute. I thought I had logged in, but it's still, it's asking it. <laughs> no worries. Okay. So now we are logged in. Um, it can it can recognize me and then a similar thing i'm gonna say now tickets so of course it's a saying what tickets like assigned to me or my ticket so assigned to me so i have a couple of tickets i need to work on some project case study billing and all i can do that similarly this is actually connected to dynamics 365 crm so on the back end you can pull all the lead information opportunity closing activities and all and I do have some demo data, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get this to you. And uh, so I'm pulling the demo data from my CRM, and it's showing me a lot of information. So I can see, oh, there is a contact here. So okay, so I can go here, and uh, it it gets me data, and then it it can actually take me to the web also. So that is one example of. Uh, conversational AI, which can help you do basic conversation, but also engage your enterprise system in it. Similarly, 
next, we're gonna look into the conversational AI example in healthcare. So I do have a healthcare conversational AI from Microsoft here. So I will say I am feeling feverish. And one of the client is uh, trying to use this on a waiting room or uh, even on the mobile app so people can give some information in advance instead of just trying to book an appointment. So this is an example of uh, conversational AI for the med medical or the healthcare. So it's saying, hey, I'm getting, um, I said I'm feeling feverish and uh, it's gonna ask me a lot of questions actually. So we'll go out and do some question answers here. And uh, I'll just start saying no because it, it does have a lot of uh, questions. So it will keep going. I'll start saying no. No, uh, rate, uh, heart rate wasn't measured. Then I have some data here, so I'll, I'll keep saying that and so on. So it will do basic diagnosis and then literally it will say, hey, should I be worried to visit a doctor or can I do telehealth or some very basic diagnosis or self-help I can do? So these are the example of uh, AI where it is actually guided conversation. It's not just uh, ad hoc, but AI can keep up the conversation, keep up with your previous history, and it can actually pull the data from electronic medical record also. So that's how it will happen. So let's just go a couple of more seconds here. And uh, as I said, you know, I'm gonna just uh, keep continuing. Problem with vision, no. Sweating, no. No. Yeah, exactly. So it has some summary here. And uh, it's saying actually, you know, one thing, it may not be much of a issue right now. So just do a routine checkup. Gives me some help, gives me some confidence and uh, I can carry on with the day. Okay. So another example, and then uh, we'll be wrapping up and then I'll open for questions, okay? So Vision AI is perfect example where, let's take an example of how Vision AI can help you uh, with, uh, with things. So for example, you can upload any image and say caption this. So I'm taking this example, three cows, so it's giving me the summary of what it is able to see. Similarly, I put a person in the playing field, baseball player holding a bat. Okay, let's go back. Common objects detection, same thing. And now it's actually doing even the, the accuracy. So you can, you can actually decide it uh, what all threshold you want to have. So like, I need 90% accuracy, then only report me, or uh, even 40% accuracy is fine. So let's go here. Like uh, if I go more than 80, it can detect for certain that there is a, a person. If I go to 60% accuracy, it can detect more thing. But you need to take the responsibility of, or you need to be just aware of that, right? It's a, it's a AI and it may be wrong. One more good example I want to show is uh, what our client is implementing in their construction um, job site. So construction job sites are hard hat area. They have risk of injury and they're always looking to reduce risk. And this is the kind of thing they are doing. So this is a warehouse example. And as you can see, yellow marker are the risk area or certain area. And a video is going on. That means, you know, the camera is able to monitor the movement and the people. So I'll show you an example, like so many things are happening, but at a certain time, at this time, you can say at three, three minutes, 45 second, summarize that frame summarize. So there comes a summary. 
that's fine. You can actually even do the little bit more detail on all the objects here. And this is where real application comes. You can, you can see the people with wearing a vest, orange vest, as well as hat. That's fine. But a person wearing just a vest should be reminded that, hey, maybe you should be wearing hat. Or maybe they have a guidance that you must wear hat. So the, those are the kind of example you can you can use in the many other areas. Okay, good. So sharing my slides now. So as you can see, in many industry, AI will be doing a lot of repetitive job or more than that. And with that comes the challenges, right? So I'm just highlighting a couple of them. There are many challenges and you may not as well, you may have question on that. Defect, because it is able to create realistic image, video, audio, it's gonna fake people, people's video and audio, right? Like example, somebody was telling, grandma got called from grandson, that I'm in trouble, I'm with officer, I need some bail out money. And be, be, grandma being grandma and recognizing uh, the voice for the person, which was a fake voice, sent the money. So that's a theft right, uh, right there with AI and an example of a deep fake. Second is the bias and discrimination. I was uh, watching a video and uh, it was telling even in the car crash test video, AI is more accurate in certain skin color versus other because the data fed was biased, let's say like that. So that's where the biases is uh, getting trained because the data is like that. So that is a very um, big risk. IP infringement, well, people are respectful about uh, whose IP it is, AI is not, it's getting all the information and generating the information based on some IP, which may not be allowed to be reused. So that infringement could happen. Same thing, if data is available, AI is gonna consume it and present it to others. So you need to be careful about your organization, personal data, and that's where the data privacy and security comes into picture and many more issues are there as well. Um, we already saw a couple of example, but I do have one more slide to give you. And, uh, and that is in terms of uh, tools, ChatGPT, there is another tool called AutoGPT, much, much advanced than ChatGPT. In fact, you use AutoGPT, it feels like ChatGPT was yesterday and uh, in chat GPT, the difference is uh, you are working and giving prompts and all. Auto GPT can take those prompts by itself and continue to do the work and all. So we'll do another session on that. Image generation tool is DALI as well as uh, uh, Midjourney. Uh, Jasper and many other tools are more about uh, marketing content, copywriting content. We talked about video, tool called Synthesia, uh, tax consulting tool, Flyfin. We looked into Microsoft uh, Bing, did not look into designer, but they do have another tool like that. And then Antika is pretty much for the hiring, so recruitment thing. So that is that. Just final slide here uh, about AI is, uh, and there is some question here. So, okay, that's fine. So, you know, whenever you want to start AI, you will have to pick up a business process, uh, develop the strategy, but you will have to train the model because uh, without training, AI cannot do anything. And uh, I do have an example of it. So. It's a multi-step process to train the model. And that includes from, you know, getting the data from any place, like whatever you have been collecting or sensors, IOTs, machines and all. 
data needs to be copied, cleaned up, uh, label or uh, annotate that to, to segregate the data and teach the AI. And then after that, you apply machine algorithm models here and then uh, train. So in terms of roles also are different here, you know, it's a data engineer coming here, uh, first two area, then uh, data scientists like Guriyash, our, <laughs> our data scientists come into picture and they actually apply the models and train the system. That I'm done, I'll just cover uh, two more slides about Think AI. Uh, so we are an AI and data company, uh, been doing traditional cloud services, uh, technology services, and then in enterprise all on data and AI. And manufacturing and healthcare is our major focus. So that's where a lot of ERP and uh, EHR, EMR integrations, and then solutions and all. With that, I will stop sharing and uh, we are good to take some questions. Okay, let me end the show and uh, not end the show, stop sharing. How do I stop sharing? Okay, got it. Uh, so if there are questions, go ahead, raise your hand. We'll go with that or just come off the camera and we can take uh, next five minutes on questions. And then uh, we'll also do the raffle soon. Okay. Yeah, anybody has uh, any question? Okay, so Jeffrey, you have it. Uh, you have written here, let me see. Like the text example, balance sheet cash flow, speed up board meeting, yeah. I think, uh, Jeffrey, I don't have uh, on top of my mind, but that is the area absolutely getting worked on, you know, uh, speeding up board meeting and absolutely on uh, even balance sheet and cash flow. So we will get back to you on, on those answers, okay? So we'll we'll get you those answers. Uh, yeah, appreciate it. I think, uh, yeah, Gurush has just given me some, uh, some insights. So oh, yeah, that, very fast. Yeah. <laughs> I did not even read that, but yes, that is correct. Okay. Thank you. Okay, that sounds good. Anybody has any other question? Manish, what, what's your what's your views? I mean, you can use this AI to train up your sat your your workforces to become more productive and more innovative, or you can replace them. With you know, AI, what's the prevailing mood in America towards those two approaches? It, it will see. Uh, yeah, I mean, ultimately, you know, uh, people are hired to do certain task, job. Right now, AI is unable to do those jobs, but you could train it to do. And the moment you train it to do, then the people who are uh, who are doing the job needs to be doing something else. So it could happen that way that uh, there is a job, job shift, I would say not replacement, but job shift. They need to do something else or uh, the, the business will decide what to do with the workforce, but very much possible that a lot of things AI is able to do. Like uh, we are working on a, an example of uh, uh, assistant, uh, project management assistant. So, you know, junior project manager, what his job is to get status, uh, highlight all the issues, follow up on the notes, make sure it's done. So one of the, one of the assistant PM will be able to do. So then what junior PM is gonna do, right? Uh, so we have two, three more question. Does this answer your question, Jeffrey? Yeah. Uh, so we have how to insert 3D AutoCAD drawing for rendering. I'll have to get back on this, not an expert on it. Uh, so I don't see the full name HP. We will get back to you on that. So Jared says, what type of data set do we need to get trained a model for a specific business model vertical? Guryash, this is your question. Take it. 
so uh, Jared, basically for this, you need to like specify which type of uh, data sets that you have. And like uh, there is uh, there is service in Azure that we that is currently in the uh, primary phase beta version where they are uh, they we can incorporate open AI into our secured environment. And depending on the data set, we can include that with the current data set that's being trained on chat GPT. And we can include the uh, business knowledge and the and the data sets that are currently there for that particular business into that. And that can help you answer questions and give you the results that you need in a secured environment. But that's in a beta version right now. And uh, Microsoft is going to release soon for the general public. So that is possible. Yeah, yeah and, and I'm going to jump to Tanuj's question. And Deepika, I'm coming to you next, but uh, it's relevant. So. Anuj did ask, uh, how can you connect chat GPT with your own data and not upload the data to public, general public? So there are two things on it. Uh, uh, even OpenAI is releasing business version of the APIs, so that will not be for public. And Azure AI is also releasing their own uh, version, but as Guryash just said, uh, right now it's private preview. So if you don't have access even as a partner, and then it will become public preview. See, Microsoft already announced that it's coming. It's just what I'm saying is it's not in hands of even partners. So end users are separate, but of course, uh, as a partner, you know, you will get uh, access very soon. And we have been trying to get it. And that is the biggest business case for everybody is that, hey, I know what ChatGPT can do, but I don't want my data to go out for privacy reason or just don't want the IP to go out. So it's coming very soon. Tanuj. Great. Thank okay. you. Yeah. So Deepika, you're saying what does a typical AI project takes from start to project to ensure that models are in fact returning accurate data? In I think, you know, as you know, with any kind of uh, AI project that you think about, whether it's a business process, whether it is, um, you know, anything that you're trying to fix, right? Automate, fix, et cetera. If yeah. the accuracy of the results will drive the ability for that project to be successful and really being utilized. But that requires iterations and iterations of um, data to be fed, right? And oftentimes these type of projects essentially require generation of data set that could yeah. be specific to the business, right? Or it could overlay different data sets, like um, public data sets that are available. like. Um, is there any project that has been done uh, that basically, you know, defines this framework? Did mention about the facts, of course, the first iteration is not going to be as accurate, but it took us yeah, three yeah. rounds of data generation. Like, that's what I'm curious about. Um, so just, just as one question. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you a very simple answer as a business user, and then I'll have Guryash also add to that. Uh, Deepika, you know, minimum thousand line data set or thousand point data set is required to start trying things. But the more mm -hmm. data you have, more accurate. But you want to do a POC, yeah, minimum thousand is required other, to make some kind of pattern. Uh, Guryash, you want to add to that something? Yeah, so uh, basically, uh, as uh, like Microsoft uh, mentioned that they're, they're going to roll out. So in that, there's an option to improve the prompts as well and also improve the answer. So I had like uh, gone through uh, that tool uh, with the Microsoft person, uh, Microsoft person, because it's going to roll out with to us very soon. So it mentions it gives us an option to include the prompt answers as well. So like for improving, there is a JSNL format kind of thing where I can provide the prompt and the answer as well. Like for example, if it's not providing the correct answer, I can improve the process by manually adding that to the training set. So basically tuning the model uh, by myself and that can help improve the accuracy as well. I hope that answers your question. Yeah, yeah I think, uh, Grish, thank you so much for that. Yeah, so next is Shannon has some question about uh, somebody made $73,000 per week. You know, maybe it's in the B2C market. We are in B2B, so not really uh, focused towards uh, that. Uh, I, I don't know, maybe we'll have to get back to you on that. And maybe that is just a comment. 
I'll go on. Rob has a liability. Yeah, Rob, I guess one of the thing what's happening in uh, in the whole industry or in, in the government uh, side also is to come up with some kind of AI governance, you know, or something called explainable AI or responsible AI. Right now, everything is a black box kind of what is happening behind the AI. You cannot know because how it learned data, how it came to that conclusion is not clear. And coming to the malpractice or uh, liability related to, you know, offering the medical suggestions or uh, medical offering, medical advice, that, that will take little time. And that is the reason applying AI to give advice is not uh, suggested right now. You know, diagnosis and helping the doctors or clinics with uh, speeding up the process, uh, focusing on process, process efficiency is fine, but coming up with the advice is a little risky here. Okay, so yeah. I'm gonna share my screen. We we'll take last question. Um, so Precious has a question. How long does it take to train AI model customized for our business need? Yeah, as I said uh, to Deepika also, you know, you need at least thousand data points, 500 minimum kind of scenario to be somewhat proof of concept ready, but the more is better. So it's not hard. Like when we talk about SMB business or a small yeah. business having these many frequently asked questions. They have to come up with it because their website has a lot of it. And we ask them to also train the bot kind of scenario. So yeah, integration to a system is required, but then you can train the bot by just uploading the Excel and all. So it it, it does not take much time. Like a week, you can train it and you need to keep training. See, in a week you have the system running, but then run it for a month or two, three months, and then you have very well working system kind of scenario. How can SMB industry start their journey? Yeah, I would say simple AI, like uh, in involving conversational AI or even text-based uh, uh, AI, like open AI, you know, you say summarize this meeting minutes from video to text or rephrase this uh, email, and uh, implementing um, image AI, I would say, uh, conversational AI, chatbot is another one. So generative AI it has made it very easy. That's what I would say. Initially it was, you had to train a lot, but with generative AI, it's very easy. So that that would be the my suggestions on that. Okay. Um, I am gonna share my screen and check the chat again soon. Uh, just a offer here is that, you know, make sure that if you have any question, reach out, but we'll be able to provide free um, AI initial data or AI consultation to help you out. And uh, that's our ask. Now, we definitely want to take maybe 30 seconds to fill this survey. You can point your on to the QR code or let's put this, uh, uh, the, sorry, I wanted to copy that uh, URL. You know one thing, just give me a second. I'm gonna copy URL and then reshare the screen. Just give me a second. Hold on, I copied it. Okay, now you guys can do that. Let me paste it. Oops. Oh, sorry, what happened here? Where's the screen? Okay, I'm messing it up. Hold on. Let me paste the link and then I'll come back. Uh, paste the link here and share again. Okay, good. Okay. Yeah, so go ahead, uh, do the survey. And it's in the chat also. And uh, I'm going to take another question while that happens. So Rob, who is asking... Yes, Rick, I will send you the recording. 
Yeah, and that's another reason, like, you know, uh, if you want recording, definitely go into the survey and put your email ID, so we'll, we'll get you the recording. And uh, the question is, we represent a, a translation AI to call, let's chat, are you ever doing live language? Time? Yeah, I mean, Rob, maybe we might have connected uh, in a SMB tech first looks like that. So, uh, well, live translation I have just seen in the demo using using the Teams application. That's my closest uh, example I have seen, but great to see that you are having some kind of uh, AI translation tool. We'd be happy to connect with you. Okay, so I'm gonna stop sharing because uh, I need to go back and pull the uh, survey survey submissions. So we can pull a winner, okay? So just uh, give me a second and I will be able to pull all the submissions so we can run a, we can pick a, pick a winner here. So just a minute. Okay, so where is my screen for service submission? It's here. Okay. I am good, good in the sense I am uh, able to get to the screen here. Working on it. Uh, Guriyash, you can put our website link to the chat and uh, sure. uh, info at Thinkai Corp. So if anybody wants to reach us, that's good. And uh, let me go to the survey. Okay. I hope everybody's done or still still they're working on it. Let me refresh it. Okay, I think we have everybody here. Give me so okay, I see here all the names. Let me get it. Uh, we got everybody's name here. I'm gonna put it in this uh, wheel thing, it's pretty cool here. Okay, if you don't see your name, let me know. These are the names here. Manish, we don't see your screen. Oh, okay, good. You know, that's a good suggestion always to tell me because I don't pay attention <laughs> there. Yeah, thanks, uh, thanks there. Anisha, so, okay. Uh, anybody missing here? No, we are not missing anything. Perfect, okay, good. So where is my screen? Sorry, just a second. I have to share again. Okay, okay, good. Let's see. Excellent. Sounds good. So Alicia, congratulations. And uh, we do have your email ID here. We will. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yes. Uh, hold on. Are you here? Okay. I am. Okay. Well, congratulations. Uh, we have your email ID. So we will reach out to you uh, via email. And uh, with that, Oh, uh, we are done. Exactly. So if you're not, if we are not connected on LinkedIn, definitely let's connect mm -hmm. and uh, we will have more sessions later. Thanks everyone for joining. Thank you.